Charles Mumbo would say that visionary leaders transform followers to leaders and leaders to agents of change, agents of national transformation. May I, by way of recap, remind every one of us that the greatest need of an unsaved person is salvation. The greatest need of a new believer is transformation. And that, by the word of God, the greatest need of a transformed believer is empowerment. And the greatest need of an empowered believer is character, even humility. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed tonight? I decree and declare that your weak beginning is blessed in Jesus' name. In a way you have never experienced, may you carry this grace for honor this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, even as you have supported these great ones in their journey to greatness, I pray that God will raise men to stand by you, to stand with you, to stand for you. In the name of Jesus, and that everything that represents spiritual laxity, let it fall from off you tonight permanently. In the name of Jesus, by faith we silence every voice that has lied to you that you cannot become what God destined. We call that voice a liar and we silence that voice forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Like it was said to Isaiah, I speak to someone here who has been inspired by this practical. Arise and shine for your light is come. In the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me, everything that has brought tears to your eyes, I stand by the power of the prophetic. This week, we open a season of laughter for you. We open a season of laughter by the power of prophecy. I open a season of laughter for you in the name of Jesus Christ. For someone you are saying, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man, you don't need to know how it will happen. The Bible says, just as you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child, so also you do not know the way of the Lord. By an act that can only be called a miracle, may your testimony manifest this way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Everything that represents shame and reproach by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, every shame is turned to honor. And let me pray for everyone here who is being plagued by the devil. The Bible declares how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. The Bible says, for God was with him. I decree and declare over your body, over your life, over your destiny. Satan, take your hands off their destinies now. Take your hands off their health now. Take your hands off their finances now. Take your hands off their career now. Take your hands over the prophecy upon their lives now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. John chapter 1 and verse 5. And the light, it says, the light shineth in darkness. Even if a room has been dark for two weeks, if you switch on light, it will not take three days for the light to come up. The room that has been dark for one year, one week, one day, one hour will respond the same way when the light is on. I don't know how long darkness has prevailed in your life, but in the name of Jesus, let there be light over your destiny. Let there be light over every area of darkness. Let there be light over your finances. Let there be light over your spiritual work. Let there be light over your career. Let there be light over ministry. Let there be light over business. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, for your shame you shall receive double. 
that where you have deserted so that no man would pass through you. It says, I will call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Therefore, I declare, whoever has been ignored and neglected, I place an anointing upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place an anointing that will compel those who need you to find you and to honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, these are not mere words, believe me. These words are creating something out of your life. Listen to me. One man forgot to talk about Joseph before Pharaoh, and he added two extra years to his life. That one man's forgetfulness will extend the time of pain of another man. Whoever has forgotten you and has made prophecy to look delayed, in the name of Jesus this night, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we open the book of remembrance now. 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 Hallelujah. Paul said, speaking to the church in Thessalonica, he said, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. There are many things that should come to God's people, but have been hindered by the power of darkness. Any force standing your way, any force that has vowed that God's prophetic word will not come to pass, in the name of Jesus, may fire from heaven fall upon them. May fire from heaven fall upon them. May fire from heaven fall upon them. In the name of Jesus. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass, as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Whatever has made your hand empty, by this oil of favor, I mantle your life for increase. I mantle your life for supplies. I mantle your life by this oil for increase. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everything that should not have left your life but by whatever means it left your life like the bones scattered in the valley of Ezekiel I command those bones wherever they are those opportunities scattered those destiny helpers scattered I command a formation right now I command a financial formation a destiny formation a spiritual formation of those bones in the name of Jesus. We're wrapping up. I feel stirred in my heart to just speak over people's finances. Can I tell you the truth? This demon of lack and poverty, don't you let anyone preach you into embracing a life of financial struggles. It is not the will of God. It does not bring dignity to you. It does not bring honor to God. Therefore, I pray that everything sitting on your financial glory, by the power of prophecy, is that I'm by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet where they preserve, by the privilege of the election of grace, anyone who is in any financial pit, hear the word of the Lord, come out of that pit now. 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 In Job chapter 42 and verse 10, the Bible says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job how many twice as much as he had before how did it happen verse 11 there came to him his brethren so it happens with men and all his sisters 
and they that had been of his acquaintance before if you ever experience favor god brought men and those men are still alive the bible says he brought them before hear me and he did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the lord had brought upon him read the last verse if you believe and every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold whoever is holding what god has authorized to enter your hand in the name of jesus the son of the living god this week before sunday next week may it enter your hand in the name of jesus help them please this week i say it again before sunday seven days by the power of the prophetic may it enter your hand in a strange way please help that woman the prophet said by this time tomorrow and there was a foolish man who said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen and he said you will see it and not eat it in case you doubted what I said, let me say it again. Open up your heart that in the next seven days from today, by the spirit of prophecy, I declare that everything that must enter your heart in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, and by the spirit of the Lord that confirms everything he says, in the name of Jesus, breakthroughs unlimited for you. Breakthroughs unlimited for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. family here whose glory has refused to be revealed if there is any force please help them in the name of Jesus that will not allow the glory of any family to be revealed in the name of Jesus fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars he said thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the lord the mouth of the lord himself shall bring everyone here called ichabod whose yesterday seems better than your today i stand by the voice of prophecy and i declare restore 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 in the name of jesus christ he said he's put a new song in my mouth a song of praise to our God many will see and fear and put their trust in him for everyone who has said where is your God it's not you that will answer them may God himself answer them to the results that come in your life Hallelujah. Every door you have tried to open and has refused to open, a door is a symbol for access. The authorized channel, midwifing dimensions, midwifing realms, midwifing chapters are doors. And every door that has refused to open, to let you enter the next season of your life by the power of the Holy Spirit we not only open the door we break that door Amen. 
two more prayers. If there is anyone here, I just sense in my spirit that there are people who have been going through attacks, seasons of attacks, people in family attacks in dreams, attacks in health, attacks over your finances, attacks in your place of work. The spirit that is behind that attack, we cause that spirit by the God of heaven. Please help that lady. We cause that spirit now. We cause that spirit now. We cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. let me pray for you whatever God told you should have happened in your life by now based on the prophetic word he gave you and up till now there is no physical manifestation I stand as a prophetic midwife I push that testimony to your life now name of Jesus Christ I push that prophecy to your life I push that prophecy to your destiny I push that prophecy to your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ give Jesus a big hand clap tonight Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.